What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. It is 6pm. It is Friday and it is brand new Shapeshifters Team 4 day. And uh, I am to understand that there is a brand new cup, not the Shapeshifters Plus Cup, for a Shapeshifter Players Pack. Win five matches. Oh, that's all right, isn't it? For a token, a premium gold players pack, and a shapeshifter pack, all just for, all just for that. That's mad. That is. We've also got shapeshifters Daniel James in at right back. Three star. Oh, it might not be three star, four star, but really nice dribbling, good defending, decent physical, decent passing, good shooting, great pace, no traits. High, high work rate. It's not bad. If he's four star, four star or better, that actually be quite good. That's in a life of friendly shifting shape. Uh, and, oh, there's no token in this, is there? No, there's not. That's quite surprising. I thought there would have been a token in that. Um, we have got... Ah, oh, so the new, the new thing that I thought was coming, unless it's in Milestones, isn't here yet. It might be in Milestones, to be fair, because the season's only 12 days left. The Shapeshifters Cup Plus is very nice into milestones all right summer swaps two is there yeah so there's nothing new there We're, i'm expecting the new objective we'll, we'll do a video on that for, for the clips channel uh in terms of the content we have got no new icon i very much doubt any new leagues however when they expire over the next uh two to four weeks hopefully EA will give us something quite fun and new here's the swaps content 82 by 25 83 by 25 84 by 25 all that kind of good stuff. And if you guys are struggling to get tokens and want to get tokens, I uploaded a video today uh, on how to do the new squad battles glitch, which is pretty fun. So go and uh, just Google that in the Panthers FIFA 22 squad battles glitch. And then let's have a look at the live content. Team of the season, team of the week upgrade. Wow, my throwback marquee matchups. And then Diego Melito, hero player pick. And you get to choose from both of them Syria. A 97 camera on 97 right wing. Just off of first glance, I think the cam is better. Um, more dribbling, more passing, same physical, just a little bit less pace and shooting, which you can kind of like, like make up for. I assume we're going to have a five star, four star, and a four star, five star. Um, but yeah, that's there. The Shapeshifters player pack has returned. And the Shapeshifters Challenge 13 is there, but no tokens in any of this, which is quite surprising. Now, Melito is an 83-rated squad, an 85-rated squad, an 87-rated squad, and an 88-rated squad with a team of the season or a team of the week. That is a crazy price. I know, I know everyone's just about to get a whole bunch of fodder, and that's why uh, EA have made it that expensive. Because they know that people are about to get a whole bunch of fodder. There's actually not that much here, is there? Uh, let's have a look at the store for today. And then we'll go and have a look at the team. Uh, so we've got... Here we've got that special... Uh, special Untradable Shapeshifters Foundation Pack 2. Contains 7 Untradable Gold Rare Players Pack 84 or higher. In addition to a Summer Swaps token. A player pick between 3 Lone Hero Shapeshifter players. And a player pick between 5 Lone Shapeshifter players. Let's pop it open. 100,000 coins. Is it going to be worth it? Yes or no? Well, we get a big walkout. It's going to be Sergio Ramos, but that's not too good. There might be a, a shapeshifter in here, though, because sometimes they sit at the back. There's not. That's not bad, to be fair. What was the minimum on that? the players in that? Because there's a lot of walkouts in there. One of three hero shapeshifter alone. And we get to look at some of the players. Well, there you go. Joe Cole, brand new hero. Five-star skill moves. Four-star weak foot. Super pace, super dribbling, super passing, very good physicals, and very good shooting. Outside the foot shot trait as well. That is a fantastic card. That really is a fantastic card. And we'll pop him as a loan into the club. And then one of five shapeshifters. Hey, oh my days. This is all from Team 2. Oh, sorry, Team 4, I beg your pardon. We've got Pepe, 4-star, 5-star, 6-foot-2, high-medium. We've got... Great pace, great shooting. Very good passing because of the short pass, long pass. Vision's a little low. Very good dribbling. Very good defending, very good physical. That is an insane player. Apart from the fact he doesn't have traits, 
which would make me use him somewhere in a defensive side of the field. But that is a super player. We have got Delict coming in at centre mid. Solid player and power header. Four star, four star, high, high, six foot two. Unreal dribbling. Brilliant passing other than vision again. Good pace, good shooting from range, great physicals, great defending. That is an unbelievable player again, man. That is very good. We've got 98 Kamte. Five-star skill moves, four-star weak for high, high work rates. This, this card, 96 dribbling, which isn't 96 dribbling. If you've got the averages of that, that's probably like closer to 98, isn't it? Maybe 97. Um, 92 defending. Still very good defending. 91 physical. Great shooting. Bit of a weird pace split. Insane passing. Like, obviously, it's crossing curves, though, but who cares? No traits again, but five-star, four-star, very nice. We've got Cloud Maurice at left back. That's a good card. Four-star, four-star. Really well-rounded. He has got outside the foot shot trait. Physical's nice. Defending, nice. Dribbling, very nice outside of reactions. Passing's good. Crossing's okay. Ace is good. Shooting from range is good. Four-star, four-star. I reckon he'll be cheap, but he looks quite good. And then Delane, who, of course, has a left-back card. Four-star, five-star. Pace is nice. Defending and physical is nice. Dribbling is good. I mean, he's a bit... Early cross the trait. It's quite nice. I probably would use him on the wing, to be fair. Probably be better suited to the wing. That is a, uh, a very good set of players to pick. Now, I'm obviously going to choose 98 Kante from that, because why wouldn't you? I don't know how many people are going to get... The option of a 98 Kante uh, in those picks. I don't know how. Uh, I don't know how they they're like they're coming out of there. But let's look at these new players, guys. So we have got centre back Wood. Now he was leaked on. Well, yeah, look, there's an SBC price for him. I don't see him. He's on Xbox and he's on uh, web app, but he doesn't seem to be on PlayStation. It's an 84 and an 86 rated squad for him. I don't know if he is actually two star, three star, and they haven't got his in-game stats yet. So we'll just hold tight on even looking at him. We've got Pele. We've got the two Diego Melito cards. Left wing Pele, five star, five star. Absolutely ridiculous card that is, isn't it? He's got the flair trait. Probably would pop a dead eye on him. Yeah, I mean, that is an absolutely ridiculous ridiculous card fair play man that is very good premier league as well premier league a betty pele that is a ridiculous card he's going to be so expensive how they've set him at five million coins i don't think people saw it was premier league i think people were expecting him to be bundesliga right that's crazy um we've got melito oh wait is that glitch then yeah that is okay i don't think pele is premier league because it's saying that Melito is Premier League as well. And he's obviously not. It says Syria in game. Four star, four star on the right wing. Four star, four star on the cam. That's a bit sad. Um, comparing the two of them. Yeah, which one would I take? Cam's got good pace. Well-rounded dribbling. Good shooting apart from long shots. Really nice passing. Really nice physical. The right winger's got good pace, really nice dribbling, really nice shooting, really nice physicals and good passing. I would definitely take the right wing. I thought I'd go for the cam. But no, I actually think the right wing's got more well-rounded stats. He's got way less like physicals, sorry, defending. But overall, I think it's he's got like less dribbling stats, but way more pace, way better shooting extremely similar physicals and then passing so yeah pop a maestro on him yeah that is superb i'm down for that six foot two high low work rates finesse shot trait i would go with the right wing what would you guys go with let me know down below what would you guys go with we've then got james and of course the two kimpembe cards james is four star four star a little sentinel on him you've got yourself a cracking right back james is a fun card i don't think i'd do him i don't think i'd take the time to do him really but james is a fun card we've then got kim pembe 92 cam four star skill moves five star weak foot it's a crazy card isn't it it's a crazy card six foot two high medium work rates high and average body type team player and leadership you could play him defensively 
Pop a little sentinel on him there. Play him as a DM. Pop a shadow on him and play him as a DM as well. You could just hit a basic on him and play him pretty much anywhere you want. Perfect passing, great pace, great dribbling, great defending, great physicals, great shooting. And that's the 92 version. The 95 version that has five star skill moves and a four star weak foot. That is a joke of a card. That is a joke of a card. Physicals, unbelievable. Defending, very good. Dribbling, very good. Hey, I tell you, that is a joke of a card. There is not, a, other than in goal, there is not a single position in the game that you can't play him. That is a phenomenal, that might well be worth the, te the tokens. That is a very good card. Um, we have got Cordoba, Di Natale, and Joe Cole. Cordoba coming in with the four star, four star. Little low on ball control and dribbling. Little low on vision. Pace is nice. Defending and physical is nice. Might go for an anchor and just round out that you know pace, defending and physical to like max levels with very good passing. Might go with an engine just boost that vision, crossing and and dribbling up. It'd be an interesting one to try and draft just to see how he plays. Um, Di Natale, five star skill moves, four star weak foot. Big upgrade on his captain's card. Five foot seven, high low work rates, which is brilliant. Outside the foot shot trait, flare trait, and finesse shot trait, this card will be very good. I would go for a maestro on him. He is a 99 can with maestro. 99 in all shooting stats bar penalties. 99 in all passing stats bar crossing and curve. 99 in most dribbling stats. Good physicals. That's a cracking card, that is. That is a cracking card. And he's strong. Oh, no, it says Premier League. He strong links at uh, Cordoba. Now, Joe Cole actually is Premier League. Five star, four star, as we've already seen. Some really nice stats on him. I probably will go Maestro with him as well. Maybe Marksman, actually, to boost that physical up. Yeah, I probably prefer the Marksman there. He's a cool card as well, though. I reckon he might be uh, relatively cheap. Uh, we've got Dempsey, Kante, Delict. Vin Dempsey already 260k. A Premier League, and he is Premier League. Four star, four star, six foot one, high, high work rates. That is an unreal card for how cheap he is already. Joe Cole. Oh, it was Joe Cole League One? Oh, he was League One, wasn't he? Yeah, beg your pardon, he was League One. Hey, that is an unreal card. Up an engine on him. You've got yourself a phenomenal winger. Absolutely phenomenal. And Golo Kamte. Compared to his team of the year, less defending. Otherwise, much better stats. Dribbling is already so good. But I still might go with an engine. Physically, very good. You might go with an anchor on Kante, actually. Yeah, probably would. Just play him in that DM role. Five star, four star. Delict as the center mid. Already down at 450k. I'd, I'd definitely give him an engine, right? You've got to get that pace and that dribbling up. But that is a good card at six foot two. He's nice. We already kind of looked at him in game a little bit. We got Walker. We looked at Cloud Maurice, Delane, and then we got Pepe as well. I know we looked at him, but I really like this card. And he's going to be so cheap. Oh, already under 100k for a card this good. What is life? With an anchor, he's a 98 rated centre back. He's got five star weak for. He's six foot two. That is mad. That is a very, 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 very good card. That is a very good card. For how cheap he is. If he was just called Ronaldo instead, he'd be like 7 million coins with the exact same stats. And then we've got Carl Walker as a centre-back. EA missed a trick not putting him as a goalkeeper. Um, Four-star weak foot, high, high work rates. He's already got perfect pace, so potentially a sentinel. Yeah, that, that, just that. Passing's good. Dribbling's good. As a centre-back, max pace, max defending, max acceleration and pace. Very good passing. 99 shot power. That is a phenomenal, phenomenal card. Uh, let's have a look at the active challenges. Ronaldinho wasn't there when I checked. Oh, that's because it's the... Uh, never mind, it's the uh, token thing. Moments player picks. Dan, Kimpembe's. 96 plus Figs. Okay, yeah. I was going to say that. I was a bit confused there. I'm like, wait, Ronaldinho... So we have got... So Wood is there, but I, I don't see him. Melito is there. It's upvoted a lot. I think that's very expensive, personally. But there you go. That is the content for today, guys. 
If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.